So we are now streaming to Facebook and recording as well. So again, I want to welcome you all to worship for Grace Lutheran Church in Chesapeake, Virginia. I'm Pastor Leslie Weber, and I am so uh, happy to have with us the Reverend Marissa Cray, who will be preaching and presiding this morning, um, especially presiding over Caleb's baptism. Uh, so that I can be as much mom as pastor this morning. If you haven't already, I would invite you to download the bulletin so that you can follow along with our worship. That can be found on our webpage, www.gracelutheranchesapeake.org. Under the calendar tab, there's the news and upcoming events page, and all of the information is there. Most of the congregational parts will also be projected on your screen if you don't have a way to have the bulletin and Zoom open at the same time on your device. We are so happy to have you all with us this morning. A special shout out to all of my family and friends that are tuning in. Mm -hmm. um, we're so thankful to have you guys with us um, to be part of Caleb's baptism. Although we are not able to gather in person together, we have um, representation from coast to coast at this baptism. In case you're not familiar with Zoom, we would ask that you keep yourselves muted for the, uh, the bulk of our worship together, unless uh, you wanna unmute during congregational responses, such as the peace um, and the uh, other congregational responses, you are welcome to unmute then, but just to make the audio experience the best for everybody. We would ask that you would keep yourselves muted. We are also thankful to our host, Rich Frankel, uh, who will be handling all the tech this morning. With all of that being said, I am going to take off the pastor hat, put on the mom hat, and hand it over to Pastor Cray. Merry Christmas. It is wonderful to be with you all. Um, just a quick word of introduction. Uh, I grew up in the Virginia Synod. Uh, so I grew up with Pastor Leslie um, a couple years ahead of her in Virginia Synod youth events and did campus ministry things together regionally in Virginia. And um, Jacob is probably one of the first people I ever met in my entire life. We have known each other literally since um, we were younger than Caleb's age. Um, Jacob's parents are um, wonderful friends with um, my mother, and uh, it's just such a joy uh, to be celebrating uh, Caleb's baptism this morning. So we'll just take a moment uh, of silence to prepare our hearts for worship, and then we will begin. Blessed be the Holy Trinity, one God, who was in the beginning, who makes a dwelling among us, who covers us with justice and mercy. Amen. Let us confess our sin in the presence of God and of one another. God of goodness and loving kindness, we confess that we have sinned against you and our neighbors. We have turned away from your invitation to new life. We have turned away from the lowly and the downtrodden. In your abundant mercy, forgive us our sins, those we know and those known only to you. For the sake of the one who came to live among us, Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. Hear the good news of peace and salvation. God forgives you all your sins. Not through our own work, but through Jesus Christ, made known to all people. With all who come to the manger, rejoice in this amazing gift of grace. 
Amen. Good Christian friends, rejoice and sing. Now is the triumph of our King. To all the world, glad news we bring. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord of life is risen this day. Death's mighty stone is rolled away. Let all the earth rejoice and say, Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Praise we in songs of victory, that love, that life which cannot die, and sing with hearts uplifted high. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Your name we bless, O risen Lord, and sing today with one accord. The life laid down, the life restored. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace from above and for our salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, for the well-being of the Church of God, and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy for this holy house and for all who offer here their worship and praise let us pray to the lord lord have mercy help save Comfort and defend us, gracious Lord. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to God's people on earth. Lord God, Heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to God's people on earth. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer. 
glory to God in the highest, and peace to God's people on earth. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit in the glory of God the Father, Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to God's people on earth. Let us pray. Almighty God, you wonderfully created the dignity of human nature and yet more wonderfully restored it. In your mercy, let us share the divine life of the one who came to share our humanity, Jesus Christ, your son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. A reading from Isaiah. I will greatly rejoice in the Lord. My whole being shall exult in my God, for he has clothed me with the garments of salvation. He has covered me with the robe of righteousness, as a bridegroom decks himself with a garland and as a bride adorns herself with her jewels. For as the earth springs forth its shoots, and as a garden causes what is sown in it to spring up, so the Lord God will cause righteousness and praise to spring up before all the nations. For Zion's sake, I will not keep silent, and for Jerusalem's sake, I will not rest until her vindication shines out like the dawn and her salvation like a burning torch. The nations shall see your vindication and all the kings your glory, and you shall be called by a new name that the mouth of the Lord will give. You shall be a crown of beauty in the hand of the Lord and a royal diadem in the hand of your God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us recite together Psalm 148 as translated in the Evangelical Lutheran Worship Hymnal. Alleluia. Alleluia. Praise, Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise God in the heights. Praise the Lord, all you angels. Sing praise, all you hosts of heaven. Praise the Lord, sun and moon. Sing praise, all you shining stars. Praise the Lord, heaven of heavens, and you waters above the earth. Let them praise the name of the Lord, who commanded and they were created, who made them stand fast forever and ever, giving them a law that shall not pass away. Praise the Lord from the earth, you sea monsters and all deeps, fire and hail, snow and fog, tempestuous winds doing God's will, mountains and all hills, fruit trees and all cedars, wild beasts and all cattle, creeping things and flying birds, sovereigns of the earth and all peoples, princes and all rulers of the world, young men and maidens, old and young together. Let them praise the name of the Lord, whose name only is exalted, whose splendor is over earth and heaven. The Lord has raised up strength for the people and praise for all faithful service. The children of Israel, a people who are near the Lord. Alleluia. A reading from Galatians. When the fullness of time had come, God sent his son, born of a woman, born under the law, in order to redeem those who were under the law, 
so that we might receive an adoption as children. And because you are children, God has sent the spirit of his son into our hearts, crying, Abba, Father. So you are no longer a slave, but a child. And if a child, then also an heir through God. Word of God, word of life. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. We would invite you to sing our gospel acclamation together. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Lord, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. When the time came for their purification according to the law of Moses, Joseph and Mary brought Jesus up to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord. As it is written in the law of the Lord, every firstborn male shall be designated as holy to the Lord. And they offered a sacrifice according to what is stated in the law of the Lord, a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons. Now, there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon. This man was righteous and devout, looking forward to the consolation of Israel. And the Holy Spirit rested upon him. It had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he would not see death before he had seen the Lord's Messiah. Guided by the spirit, Simeon came into the temple and when the parents brought in the child Jesus to do for him what was customary under the law, Simeon took him in his arms and praised God saying, Master, now you are dismissing your servant in peace according to your word for my eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared in the presence of all peoples, a light for revelation to the Gentiles and for glory to your people, Israel. And the child's father and mother were amazed at what was being said about him. Then Simeon blessed them and said to his mother, Mary, this child is destined for the falling and the rising of many in Israel and to be a sign that will be opposed so that the inner thoughts of many will be revealed and a sword will pierce your own soul too. There was also a prophet, Anna, the daughter of Phanuel of the tribe of Asher she was of a great age, having lived with her husband seven years after her marriage, then as a widow to the age of 84. She never left the temple, but worshiped there with fasting and prayer night and day. And at the moment she came and began to praise God and to speak about the child to all who were looking for the redemption of Jerusalem. When they had finished everything required by the law of the Lord, they returned to Galilee, to their own town of Nazareth. The child grew and became strong, filled with wisdom, and the favor of God was upon him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, you all Christ.
Let us pray. May the words of my mouth and the meditations of all of our hearts be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, our strength and our Redeemer. Amen. Merry Christmas once again. Grace and peace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. It is so wonderful to be able to join you all, the Saints of Grace Lutheran, uh, from here in Durham, North Carolina. Specifically, I am here this morning at Christus Victor Lutheran Church, which is where my husband Ben serves as pastor. Uh, but he is exactly where he has been this morning for the last 40 some odd weeks, which is leading worship from our kitchen table as they are also worshiping this morning uh, on Zoom. And so I think actually this is the first um, worship that this building has had on a Sunday morning uh, in since early March. So it is um, a joy to uh, be with you all from Christus Victor this morning. And it is especially wonderful to be able to join you on the special occasion that we are celebrating this morning, the baptism of Caleb James. And in addition to feeling incredibly honored that Pastor Leslie and Jacob would ask me to preach and preside at such an auspicious occasion, I am particularly excited because baptisms and weddings uh, are, in my opinion, some of the best parts of being a pastor. And for me, they're a little bit rare these days because I uh, am not serving in a congregational call right now, uh, but I'm serving uh, as part of the ELCA churchwide organization. But I do have a confession to make this morning. Sometimes as a pastor, I feel a little bit like a Debbie Downer at weddings and at baptisms. Because here I am so privileged to be, a, to be invited and to be such a part of, you know, these wonderful, happy, joyous occasions and such special moments in a family's life. And then what do I have to do as the pastor? I have to talk about sin. I have to burst that bubble and remind the happy, blissfully in love couple that not every day of their marriage is going to be rosy. And the same is true with baptisms. As Pastor Leslie knows all too well, as pastors, when it comes to both weddings and baptisms, we often have to remind folks that the ceremony and the cake and the pictures and the gown, they're not the end, but they are only the beginning. Because it's not about checking it off the list and saying, yep, now I'm a child of God, glad that's out of the way. Because the truth is that at the same time that God is making promises to Caleb this morning, Caleb's parents and his sponsors, and oh yes, all of us here on Zoom, we are making promises to God as well. So I was happy to be reminded in our gospel lesson this morning that I am in good company with my Debbie Downer news, because while there is indeed so much joy and hope to focus on in this story, even Simeon has a similar message to Mary. Not everyone will welcome the good news. And watching the word made flesh, the very son that you birthed be rejected will be no easy task. A sword will pierce your own soul too. But I'll get to that part in a little bit. Because what really jumped out at me this morning, or as I was preparing for this morning, is indeed wonderful news. What really jumped out at me is how active the Holy Spirit is in this story. And I have to admit that I had kind of forgotten that part. I guess I had always assumed that Simeon lived in the temple with Anna, and I knew that the Holy Spirit had promised him 
we think long ago, that he would not die without seeing the Messiah. But I kind of thought that then when he just saw, happened to see Jesus, that he just knew. But this time, I noticed that the Holy Spirit guided and inspired Simeon that very day to make sure that he walked into the temple and was there when Mary and Joseph brought Jesus to be dedicated. Wow, what an awesome reminder to have read during a baptismal service about just how active the Holy Spirit is in our lives. We think of Simeon as having some kind of super special relationship with God because he got to see Jesus so early on and he was graced with special knowledge about what would happen to him. But the truth is that after his baptism in just a few minutes, Caleb and Simeon will have a whole lot in common. For soon and very soon, the Holy Spirit will rest upon Caleb as well. And the Holy Spirit will be active in his life, calling and guiding and sustaining him throughout his days. The good ones and the bad ones, come sunshine or rain clouds, through the falling and the rising, through the best years and the worst years. The coming of the Holy Spirit to us in baptism is indeed a joyful and a special day. But what makes it truly special is the knowledge that it is not a once and done thing, but that today is only the beginning. From now on, the Holy Spirit will be an active part of Caleb's life. And it's up to us, all of the people gathered here this morning to witness this from the very beginning. It's up to us to remind Caleb of this and to help him learn to recognize the signs of the Spirit's work in his life. Now, I know that that might not be our strong suit as Lutherans, but again, that's part of what makes today's baptism so special. Because each time we witness a baptism, we are reminded that the Holy Spirit is alive and active. And this special event, the witnessing of this special event can serve as a reminder to each and every one of us to be on the lookout for the Spirit's work in our own daily lives fulfilling the promises that God made to each of us in our own baptisms. And these are the stories, stories of God's spirit in our life that we should all share with Caleb as he grows up. And they don't have to be big, dramatic, light bulb moments. They don't have to have altered the course of your entire life, although I'm sure those stories are out there and should also be shared frequently. But any story that you share where, like Simeon, you have experienced the satisfaction and the fulfillment of one of God's promises of love, grace, forgiveness, or peace in your life, these stories will help Caleb to be on the lookout for how God is present in his own life and in the world around him. And I'm just venturing a guess that these stories from you all, the people gathered here today, might be even more important to Caleb than to most children, being a pastor's kid, because he needs to know that all Christians are on the lookout for God's work in their lives, not just the pastors, not just the professionals. Which brings me to another thing that I love about today's reading. Verse 33, the child's father and mother were amazed at what was being said about him. I love the fact 
that Mary and Joseph, despite having been visited by angels and having nine months now or more to wrap their minds around the more and more obvious reality of this miraculous conception, I love that they could be amazed by what others had to say about their son. And this is such a good reminder that the Holy Spirit's work in our lives has always been communal. The Holy Spirit works through all kinds of people in our lives, even those that we may only know for a short time. You never know how God might be working through you to impact Caleb's life or the life of some other member of the body of Christ. And finally, as I alluded to at the beginning, I think today's reading is so perfect for a baptism because amidst all of the amazing signs and wonders, all of the ways that Simeon and Anna's story points to the power of hope and endurance, and most importantly, the faithfulness of God's promises, amidst all of that, it also includes a healthy dose of reality. Simeon is quite clear. God's will, God's reign, God in the flesh will be opposed. Our baptisms are not magic. They do not act as a shield protecting us from all the evil in the world. What our baptisms do is join us to Christ, both death and resurrection, both suffering and the ultimate victory. Our baptisms assure us that nothing can separate us from God's love, and they free us to live an abundant life in service to our brothers and sisters in Christ, to all God's children, and to all that God created and called good. As Caleb grows in years, I imagine that he will hear a lot of stories about what life was like the year he was born in 2020. Some will be funny, hopefully more funny over time. Many will be sad, but I hope most of all, that Caleb hears from us, the community of believers present at his baptism, that 2020 was the year that he was sealed with the Holy Spirit and marked with the cross of Christ forever. And it was the year that reminded us, perhaps more than most, the truth from Romans chapter 8 that nothing can separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Thanks be to God. Amen. Let us sing together our hymn of the day as it's projected on your screen and our minister of music, Morgan, sings and plays it. You're invited to sing along at home. Once in royal David city stood a lonely cattle shed where a mother laid her baby in a manger for his bed. Mary was that mother mild, Jesus Christ, her little child. He came down to earth from heaven, who is God and Lord of all, and his shelter was a stable, and his cradle was a stall. With the poor and meek and lowly lived on earth our Savior whole. 
And our eyes at last shall see him through his own redeeming love. For that child so dear and gentle is our Lord in heaven above. And he leads his children on to the where he is gone. Not in poor that lonely stable when the oxen standing by we shall see him but in heaven set at God's right hand there his children gather round, bright like stars with glory crowned. God, who is rich in mercy and love, gives us a new birth into a living hope through the sacrament of holy baptism. By water and the word, God delivers us from sin and death and raises us to new life in Jesus Christ. We are united with all the baptized in the one body of Christ anointed with the gift of the Holy Spirit and joined in God's mission for the life of the world. Who presents Caleb for baptism? Caleb James for baptism. Called by the Holy Spirit, trusting in the grace and love of God, do you desire to have your child baptized into Christ? I do. As you bring your child to receive the gift of baptism, you are entrusted with responsibilities. To live with him among God's faithful people, bring him to the word of God and the Holy Supper. Teach him the Lord's Prayer, the Creed, and the Ten Commandments. Place in his hands the Holy Scriptures and nurture him in faith and prayer so that your child may learn to trust God, proclaim Christ through word and deed, care for others and the world God made, and work for justice and peace. Do you promise to help your child grow in the Christian faith and life? I do. Sponsors. Do you promise to nurture this child in the Christian faith as you are empowered by God's spirit and to help them live in the covenant of baptism and in communion with the church? We do. People of God, this might be a great time to get ready to unmute yourself. People of God, do you promise to support Caleb James and pray for him in his new life in Christ? We, we, do. Do. we do. We do. We do. And now I ask all of us to profess our faith in Christ Jesus, reject sin, and confess the faith of the church. Sorry, when I ask people to unmute, I might have messed up our spotlights. <laughs> so I'll give the tech people some time to catch up. Sorry about that. Okay, you think we're good? I ask you to profess your faith in Christ Jesus, reject sin, and confess the faith of the church. Do you renounce the devil and all the forces that defy God? I renounce them. Wait. Do you renounce the powers of this world that rebel against God? I renounce them. 
Do you renounce the ways of sin that draw you from God? I renounce them. Do you believe in God the Father? I believe in God, God the Father, the, Father, Almighty. the Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of God. I am in Jesus, Christ, 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 Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit born of the Virgin, the Virgin Mary, Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried, and was buried descended into death, the death. On the third day he rose again. Day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated, seated at the right, right hand of the Father, of the Father and, he and he will come to judge the living and the dead. dead. Do you believe in God the Holy Spirit? I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy, Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body. And the life, and the life everlasting. everlasting. Amen. I think our congregational responses are over. So if everyone will just check and make sure you're muted, that would be great. And we'll give our tech people some time to get our spotlights going. I think we're good, Marissa. Okay, wonderful. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. Blessed are you, O God, maker and ruler of all things. Your voice thundered over the waters at creation. You, you water the mountains and you send springs into the valleys to refresh and satisfy all living things. Through the waters of the flood, you carried those in the ark to safety. Through the sea, you led your people Israel from slavery to freedom. In the wilderness, you nourished them with water from the rock and you brought them across the river Jordan to the promised land. By the baptism of his death and resurrection, your son Jesus has carried us to safety and freedom. The floods shall not overwhelm us and the deep shall not swallow us up for Christ has brought us over to the land of promise. He sends us to make disciples, baptizing in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Pour out your Holy Spirit. Wash away sin in this cleansing water. Clothe the baptized with Christ and claim your daughters and sons, no longer slave and free, no longer male and female, but one with all the baptized in Christ Jesus, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Can someone unmute the church, Grace? I cannot unmute it. I think you'll okay. be able to, I'm going to say the words, so it'll be, it's unmuted. Caleb James, I baptize you in the name of the Father, <laughs> and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Let us pray. We give you thanks, O God, that through water and the Holy Spirit, you give us your daughters and sons new birth, cleanse them from sin and raise them 
to eternal life. Sustain Caleb James with the gift of your Holy Spirit, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord, the spirit of joy in your presence, both now and forever. Amen. <laughs> the oil Caleb James child of God you have been sealed by the Holy Spirit and marked with the cross of Christ forever amen amen Let your light so shine before others that they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. And now I think it is time for us to welcome the newly baptized. Welcome. Welcome. Join yeah. us in giving thanks and praise to God and bearing God's creative and redeeming word to all the worlds. Welcome, Caleb. Can we say hi? Hi, Caleb. Ah, oh, look at that smile. Wake up. Welcome. <laughs> welcome. Uh -oh. Beautiful. Welcome. welcome. Caleb. <laughs> We will continue our worship with the prayers. <laughs> Joining our voices with the song songs with the songs of angels, let us pray for the church, the world, and all who are in need. Night and day, all creation praises you, O oh God. Strengthen your church across nations, denominations, and traditions. Fill us with wisdom and unify our proclamation of your forgiveness and mercy. Hear us, O oh God. Your mercy is great. All creation is holy to you, O oh God. You cause the earth to bring forth its shoots and gardens to spring up. Protect hibernating animals and frozen lands that wait earnestly for longer days of awakening and growth. Hear us, O oh God. Your mercy is great. The nations are upheld by your hand, O oh God. Cause righteousness and praise to spring forth inspiring leaders to serve with compassion and integrity. Send your spirit of discernment upon legislatures, leaders grappling with complex decisions for the sake of the common good. Hear us, O oh God, your mercy is great. Send the spirit of your son into our hearts, O oh God, Come quickly to hearts that race with fear, hearts that break with grief, and hearts that long for wholeness, especially those listed on our prayer list and those we name now aloud or silently. Reveal your power to heal and to save. Hear us, O oh God, your mercy is great. Let us depart in peace, O oh God, according to your word. For all your saints, we give you thanks. 
prepare our salvation in the sight of all your witnesses of every time and place. Hear us, O oh God. Your mercy is great. God of earth, come quickly to us with grace upon grace as we lift these and all our prayers to you in the name of Jesus. Amen. The peace of Christ be with you always. And also with you. Be with you all. Please share the peace that you normally do on your Sunday morning Zoom time. Peace. 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 Good morning. With you. Peace. Good morning. Peace. God's peace. 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 God's peace. 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 At this point in our service, we remember that all that we have comes from God and that we are invited to give back a little portion of those gifts to do God's work in the world. If you would like to financially support the Ministries of Grace, there's information in the bulletin and on our website about how to do so. We also remember our, the gifts of time and talent along with the gifts of treasures as we pray our offering prayer. Gracious God, you came to us as one unknown, bringing joy and salvation to the earth. Nourish us at your banquet table, that with all who welcome your birth, we may proclaim your peace, revealed in Jesus Christ our Savior. Amen. Holy God, creator of all and source of life. At the birth of time, your word brought light into the world. In the fullness of time, you sent your word born of Mary to shine in our darkness and to make us your daughters and sons. In the night in which he was betrayed, our Lord Jesus took bread and gave thanks he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, take and eat. This is my body given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. And again, after supper, he took the cup, he gave thanks and gave it for all to drink, saying, this cup is the new covenant in my blood said for you and for all people for the forgiveness of sin. Do this for the remembrance of me. Remembering therefore his birth and life among us, his death and resurrection, we await his coming again when all things will be restored in him. By your spirit, bless us and this bread and cup Held and nourished by you, we may live as your children, shining with the light of your Son. Through him, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, with the Holy Spirit in your holy church, both now and forever. Amen. Amen. Gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, let us pray together the prayer our Lord Jesus taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. 
The word is revealed in a manger, in simple bread and wine. Come meet Christ in the meal. If you are gathered with others, we would encourage you to serve one another. And if you are not able to gather with anybody else today, I would encourage you to hear my words as promise. The body of Christ given for you, the blood of Christ shed for you. We give you thanks, gracious God, that you have once again fed us from your very self with the body and blood of Christ. Through this mystery, send us forth to proclaim your promise to a world in need through the same Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. Almighty God, who sent the Holy Spirit to Mary, proclaimed joy through the angels, sent the shepherds with good news, and led the Magi by a star, bless you on this day through the word made flesh. Amen. It is so good to have you all with us this morning. Just a couple of announcements. The office will remain closed until January 4th, and I will be on vacation until January 3rd. If you have any pastoral emergencies, please contact Rich Frankel, and you'll, he'll get you in touch with the pastor on call. Next Sunday, January 3rd at 945, we will gather for a, lesson, uh, a service of lessons and carols. All of the information uh, for the bulletin and the login to Zoom is available on the news and upcoming events page under the calendar tab on our website, www.gracelutheranchesapeake.org. Next Sunday, we will also resume Sunday school, adult Sunday school at 8.30 and youth Sunday school at 11. And all of those take place on one, the same Zoom call that, that is found on our website. Are there any other announcements for the good of the Congregation of Grace? I'm not seeing anything in the chat or waving hands. It's a quiet week around here. So I do want to thank again, all of those of you who joined us from near and afar and <clears throat> would invite you to sing our sending song together on Christmas night.
On Christmas night all Christians sing To hear the news the angels bring On Christmas night all Christians sing To hear the news the angels bring News of great joy, news of great mirth News of our merciful King's birth Then why should we on earth be sad since our Redeemer made us glad. Then why should we on earth be sad since our Redeemer made us glad when from our sin he set us free? All for to gain our liberty. When sin departs before his face, then life and hell come in its place. When sin departs before his face, then sin and hell come in its place. Angels rejoice with us and sing, all for to see the newborn king. All out of darkness we have light, which made the angels sing this night. All out of darkness we have light, which made the angels sing this night. Glory to God in highest heaven, peace on earth and goodwill. Go in peace. Share the gift of Jesus. Thanks be to God. God. I'm going to go ahead and stop our recording and our live streaming, but you are welcome to stick around for a little bit of time of fellowship. Thank you all for being with us, and we look forward to seeing you with us again on Zoom next week at 945 for worship.